Guadalajara, Mexico. Experience the enchanting blend of historic charm and modern vibrancy in the city where every moment is a fiesta of culture and excitement. Hi, I am Martijn your guide in Guadalajara. After watching this travel guide you know a lot more about this city to get the most out of your trip. From old to new, this beautiful cathedral and a stunning viewing point. I don't like to ask, but please like, subscribe or leave a comment. That's the way YouTube works to grow and to make new videos for you in the future. The Guadalajara airport is located 18 kilometers outside the city center. And to travel to the city you can use public transportation, but my advice is to take a taxi. You can buy a ticket at the kiosk in the terminal and a single journey will set you back around 18 euros depending on your final destination. Within the city I always use the Uber taxi service. The prices are reasonable and sometimes cheap and the service is okay. Let's start the Guadalajara travel guide in a beautiful old center called Centro Historico. It's full with beautiful squares, old buildings and music. And one of the most famous buildings is the cathedral over here. The construction started in the 1560s and it took around 50 years to complete it. By the way, the towers are not original. They were destroyed in 1818 during an earthquake and replaced by those in 1854. A building you can't miss is the 19th century Hospicio Cabanas, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, renowned for José Clemente Orozco's murals. It serves as a cultural hub with art exhibitions. It stands as a testament to Mexico's rich and social artistic history. In a moment you know more about this museum and a street full with bars and restaurants. But first, a breathtaking viewing point. Parque Mirador Independencia. You can call this a peaceful retreat with the Barranca Huentitan. A scenic canyon within the park provides natural beauty and tranquility with lush landscapes and walking trails. Where you are a museum goer, the University of Guadalajara Art Museum is a must see. This museum showcases diverse Mexican art, fostering cultural appreciation through exhibitions and educational programs. The museum opened in 1994 and there was no entrance fee. In a moment you know one of the best places to go for food and drinks by night. But first, a perfect area to walk through. It's called Colonia Americana. It's really an experience to walk here because of the old mansions. Beautiful old buildings with the original architecture. They changed only the insides to shops, restaurants and offices. One of the most famous streets in Colina Americana is Avenida Chapultepec. You can say that this is really the heart and soul of this area, with restaurants and bars on both sides of the road. This is the place where also locals go by night for food and drinks. And there are also street markets, and in the evening people dance on the street. In a moment you know more about this place which is 20 minutes from the city center of Guadalajara and a local market. But first, El Templo Expiatorio, which is a finely detailed neo-gothic cathedral built over decades starting in the late 19th century. The interior of the church features a fine collection of stained glass windows. You will also find a lot of vendors on the square in front of the church. The city has different faces when it comes to shopping. On one hand you have the local stores in the downtown area. On the other hand there are new malls like Midtown Jalisco and Plaza Andares. And this is totally a different world. Andares is also known for the good restaurants and my favorite is Lolo. Or visit one of Latin America's largest markets with more than 3000 stalls, Mercado San Juan de Dios. A place you certainly have to visit is Talakapaka. Yes, pronounce it again, Talakapaka. It's only a 25 minutes ride from the center of Guadalajara by taxi. And this Mexican village is well known for its art. So there are many stores to buy souvenirs or pottery. And 
El Parian is the main market and over here you find a lot of restaurants and music. My advice is to visit also the beautiful churches in Talakapaka. We are a few days in town and my advice is to visit Tequila. This is really the place where tequila is made. You can book a tour or otherwise a private taxi for a day rate. It's only a two hours drive from Corvajara to Tequila. Over there you can walk around in a beautiful old center or visit the factories. But keep in mind that you book your tickets in advance. The best time to visit Guadalajara, I think from October till December. The weather is dry and the temperature around 26 to 28 degrees Celsius. The period behind that, January till May, is also good thanks to the lower hotel prices. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.